There's a record store in Granville, Michigan on Chicago Drive. It's called the Corner Record Shop. And uh, it's probably the best place that I've ever been to as far as record shops go. It's better than Encore Records in Ann Arbor. It's better than Newberry Comics in Boston. It's better than all the record stores I ever saw in Seattle by far. Um, and it's just tucked away in this uh, old strip mall outside of downtown Granville. Uh, I don't usually like doing commercial things, but these guys are really great. They've been, they've been on my mind lately. They're really good to Ikeic and Vigilantes. And I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I've managed to find there, just, you know, maybe to get you interested, considering most of the people that watch this live in West Michigan or in the Grand Rapids area. So what we got right here, this is Motorhead. This is, uh, this is original. It's beat all the hell. But uh, I got it for seven bucks, and the wax is great. I also managed to find uh, Lou Reed's Transformer, and uh, when I found this, my friend Josh, who had been searching for this record on vinyl for like years, uh, sat up straight and called me a nasty name. Let's see, oh man, I never thought I'd find this. This is a uh, David Bowie, the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. If you don't appreciate this, I. We're not friends. No, we're friends. I lied. But, uh, let's see. The Trogs. You may have heard of these guys. They wrote Wild Thing. And this is original. And I got this for $12. They, they sell their stuff for so cheap, I don't know how they get away with it. All right. <clears throat> Ramones Rocket to Russia. Okay, this is not only the first pressing, but it has the original album artwork and the sleeve, and the wax is just beautiful. Ten dollars. I got this. All right. Now this probably belongs in the Library of Congress, all right? Right here. This is Moby Grape. They were a psychedelia band, blues based in the 60s. And here we have Don Stevenson. And uh, you'll notice here he's giving the middle finger. Well, the record company didn't catch this until they pressed a thousand already. And they uh, recalled them and they dubbed out the finger and some made it look just like a fist and I managed to find this at the corner record shop for 12 bucks. I mean finding finding Moby Grape stuff on vinyl period is just tough and I, and I found both this and like their seminal album Wow and they were both like under $15. Uh, they also have a bunch of like really great reissue stuff like uh, they carry a lot of Sunday's vinyl. Sunday's vinyl specializes in reissues. There's a garage rock band from England called The Shadows of Night, and they did a lot of covers like Van Morrison's Gloria and stuff. But, uh, you know, there were four songwriters in the band as well, and they wrote some great stuff like Bo Diddley beat rock and roll that I just, I miss. And, uh, raw power, raw power. It came from Michigan people. The remaster actually sounds better, but I'm glad I got this. And uh, if you need a little soul in your life, this last week I got the Four Tops and, uh, and a double LP collection of Jackie Wilson stuff. He's the guy that wrote Your Love Lists Me Higher and Higher. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if the classics ain't your thing, yeah, they, they manage to get a lot of other stuff in there too. Like, have you ever heard of a band called No Knife? Because they're worth looking into. They're incredible, um, but uh, they didn't get the recognition I think they deserved. They went on tour with Sunday Day Real Estate on the Rising Tide tour, and uh, people were screaming at them to get off stage, which really sucked because Lord knows the Rising Tide was not a very good record. Um, for all you hipster kids, we got Quasi. I found this used at the corner record shop. The Sword of God. Three-sided LP, incredible. And Grand Rapids' very own North Lincoln, Truth is a Menace. Brian actually works at uh, the Corner Record Shop sometimes. Uh, they've done a lot of expanding lately. Anyway, uh, I don't know. This isn't, this isn't about ego stroking or anything. It's just that I don't think people know about this place. And, I think maybe the five people from Grand Rapids that watch this ought to know about it.